Hello guys. So, uh, just a small update. I know I've not been online for a while. Well, I've been online, but I haven't done many videos uh, recently. That's because I've been working. I'm still here in Germany. Um, I brought the car over, um, which was nice. Uh, I've done a couple of journeys in it, um, obviously. But a problem has arisen whereby the other day I was uh, driving uh, just outside my dormitory uh, I was coming up the bypass and um, the car jerked a little bit and the engine light management light came on and I thought hmm and it was stuttering and there was a lack of power but it wasn't considerable it was noticeable but it wasn't so bad but the engine management light one was, none, was on nonetheless so anyway cut a long story short I got to the traffic light and the car was shaking and stuttering and all kinds so I thought hmm I'll turn it off and then I'll turn it back on maybe it'll restart and it should be alright so I turned the car off and then turn it back on fired up and it's shaking and stuttering and all kinds and so I'm like, right, okay, so, yep, yeah, there was definitely a problem. Maybe it's a spark plug because it's stuttering, but it was stuttering quite heavily, so I wasn't entirely sure. Anyway, um, I accelerated away from the traffic light, and the engine's clattering, and it's, and it's shouting, and every time I accelerate, it's... Uh, sounds like a metallic plinking, like it's, like it's knocking. <clears throat> so it sounded almost, oh, I thought, I thought, well, maybe the timing's out. So anyway, I got it just outside the dorm, and it was, it was literally dying. Um, and it just got to the point where I, I literally touched the throttle in reverse to park it, and it just died. Um, so I tried to start it, and it was turning over, turning over, turning over, and it really, really wanted to start, and it just couldn't. And then... I pressed the start button again and it was turning and then it just went clink and then that was it, it just stopped and there was no more so I thought right, the engine's done what am I going to do, I'm in the middle of Germany I have only a month left here um, what am I going to do uh, I have European breakdown cover but I want to use the car obviously uh, so I thought well what do I do so <clears throat> uh, me and two other guys uh, from the dorm, push the car into the space, and then um, I quickly whipped off the front covers uh, of where the cams are, <clears throat> and the cams looked like they were slightly out from each other. So I thought, yeah, the, it's out of time. The engine's out of time, and that's what it is. And I'll time it back up, and it should be okay. I hope. So the following day. Um, <clears throat> I got the tools out because I brought all my tools with me just in case something like this did happen and I'm really glad I did um, so uh, got the tools whipped the covers off I put the engine into its top dead center because there's a timing mark on the on the crank um, on the crank pulley so I turned it into its top dead center uh, whipped the belt off turned the cams into their rightful position put the belt back on turned it over, I turned it quarter of a turn and it stopped and I thought did I do something wrong or what? so I checked the timing again, whipped everything back off the crumb covers, both banks which take ages because they're just irritating to do checked everything, everything was perfect why is it why is the engine not turning over? So I sat for a second and then I thought I'll tell you what I'll do let me just take out the spark plugs and see if they, I can see any piston damage so I took all the, pist uh, all the spark plugs out from the, the right bank fine took all of the spark plugs out of the left bank three of them were okay one of them was a little bit difficult to get out and then when I got it out I saw why 
I'll just uh... the end has disappeared and at this point I thought hmm I think we have a mechanical issue here I have a spare one <laughs> not that it'll work anyway so I thought hmm I've got a, a bit of a problem here so um, I thought right there's a problem with this cylinder uh, I need to maybe I, I need to get the inlet manifold off and get the head off so I took the inlet manifold off and as I took the inlet manifold off um, I looked out because you can see the three there's three uh, the three inlet valves and all three were bent and the middle one is twisted and up inside the um, up inside the, uh, the port of the inlet thought right so the piston smashed the valve um, oh yeah might I add that when I did do the timing the first time it was 180 degrees out it was completely out uh, so yeah but all all seven cylinders all other seven cylinders are perfectly fine it's just this one at the back uh, so yeah uh, I have four three bent valves so far I don't know about the exhaust valves I can only see the inlet ones so I thought I need to find out how bad the cylinder walls are because the the engine that the, the engine isn't sleeved which means that if there is any wall damage um, then I have to replace the whole engine block basically I'm hoping I can resurrect it um, but yeah so I I got my um, I got a, a socket a 16 mil socket uh, and a socket extension and a hammer and I just tap the valve to get the uh, the, the collets out uh, remove the valve spring and I put pushed the valve into the cylinder to move it out of the way and it went straight in and I checked the cylinder wall and there's a bit of scoring uh, which I'll show you tomorrow uh, but I'm hoping I'll be able to hone it all out <clears throat> and um, I'm, I'm hoping uh, and, and put a, 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 it all back together so I bought a new head um, and as I was looking inside the cylinder wall I can see the piston or what's left of it there is no piston left um, I don't know how it's been so badly damaged see it must have sucked something in from the inlet and it, it's just absolutely wrecked the piston the piston is literally gone um, from what I can see uh, but tomorrow I've done all of the work that I need to do now all I need to do is get my tool from the post office because I had to order a tool uh, so I can get to the head bolts I'm going to take out the head bolts tomorrow uh, yeah, the battery died there. <clears throat> Preparation. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to remove the head tomorrow and do a proper inspection, which I will show you tomorrow. Um, I, um, what else do I need to do? Once I've got the head off, I need to drop the oil because no doubt um, there will be lots of crap everywhere inside the engine so I need to drop the oil I need to remove the sump pan I need to remove the oil pump and the plate that holds it in uh, so I can get to the crankshaft um, I need to remove the plate which covers the crankshaft and then remove the piston because the piston is completely gone um, so yeah, I have a new head coming which has got all the valves in it um, and both camshafts uh, it's pretty much a straight up swap with this head uh, I've got a new gasket and new head bolts to go into uh, hopefully I can get it running 
but yeah, I'm thinking I might need a I need to buy a honing tool. I don't know if I'll be able to borrow one from the garages around here. But yeah, that's my that's my job uh, for the next days is to um, clean it out, prepare it for when I put it back together, and hope that it all goes well and clean the oil because that oil's new and oil here seems to be very expensive and I need like nine liters of oil so yeah I'll do this and hopefully I can get it running again but yeah this has turned into a really really big job I wasn't expecting to do such a job and I've been talking a lot of crap but uh, I just thought as a quick update I'll let you know how it's going so this is part one the other thing to add is that uh, the inlet manifold which sits in the middle of the engine was partially filled with oil um, where the piston has come back up and basically well pushed all the oil back in because the inlet valve bent and it's also at the same time shoved a load of metal uh, shards into the inlet which I will also show uh, and yeah, uh, that needs cleaning. We'll we'll do some work. I'll show you what what I've done so far, and uh, yeah. But other than that, it's been all right. So yeah. Peace.